Okay, hello Cloud Gurus. There's a new EC2 P3 instance now available. There's Amazon Aurora is now compatible with PostgreSQL. AWS have added support for CloudFormation for AWS Glue. There's a serverless Ask Me Anything on Reddit this week. And stay tuned for the end of this episode to hear our plans for reInvent. I'm Ryan Krunenberg and you're watching AWS This Week. So Amazon have released new EC2 P3 instances, and these are powered by eight NVIDIA Tesla V100 GPUs. So what would you use these instances for? Well, basically anything compute intensive. So this can be things like machine learning, deep learning, fluid dynamic calculations, computational finance, seismic analysis, molecular mod modeling, genomic workloads, or anything really, really complicated. And these instances are now available in four regions, including Northern Virginia, Oregon, Island, and Tokyo. So last year, Amazon announced plans to launch Aurora with PostgreSQL compatibility, and they actually launched a private beta shortly after the announcement, and now it's generally available in four regions. So this is compatible with PostgreSQL 9.6.3, and it scales automatically to support up to 64 terabytes of data with six-way replication, and you can actually expect up to three times better performance than running PostgreSQL on its own. PostgreSQL support with Aurora is now available in Northern Virginia, Oregon, Ohio, and Ireland. So AWS have just added support for CloudFormation for AWS Glue. And in case you forgot what AWS Glue is, it's a fully managed extract, transform, and load, or ETL service that makes it easier for customers to prepare and load their data for analytics into the AWS Cloud. And you can now create Glue entities such as jobs, triggers, development endpoints, and crawlers using AWS CloudFormation templates. So something really cool that's happening this week is there's a serverless Ask Me Anything on Reddit, and it will be held on the 1st of November at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it's perfect if you have questions on how to get started building serverless apps using Lambda and other AWS services. And there's a panel of experts, apologies if I mispronounce anyone's name, uh, but it includes Jeff Barr, AJ Nair, Chris Munns, Stefano Belluni, Sanath Ramesh Kumar, Cecilia Deng, and George Mao. And you can go to this Ask Me Anything by going to reddit.com forward slash r forward slash AWS and the link is below. So we're almost at the end of this week's show, but a lot of our students keep asking what our plans are for reInvent, and we'll be sharing these with you over the coming episodes of AWS this week in the leading up to reInvent. Uh, but we can tell you what we're doing on Monday and Tuesday. So on Monday, we are starting off the week by creating more awareness about improving diversity and inclusion in the tech industry. And we're sponsoring a Women Who Code team at the RoboCar Rally, and a couple of ACG members will be in the pit crew. And then on Monday night, we're attending the Gender in Tech Lightning Talks, which includes our serverless conf speaker, Erica Windish, who's the CTO of IOPipe. And there'll be a happy hour at the end of the night that we'll also be attending as well. So on Tuesday night, we'll be attending the Women in Tech discussion panel, and another good friend of ACG, Anjanette Peterson from Capital One, will be talking. And then afterwards, you can find us at the She Powers Tech networking reception on Tuesday evening. And if you haven't already, make sure you sign up to Pete Sabarsky's session on serverless. We'll have even more planned that we'll be sharing in the coming weeks, so stay tuned to AWS this week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next week.